I had never heard about this. Um, you've heard of stealthing sea bass? It's or illegal. Sammy? It's illegal. No, I haven't heard of this. Well, that's the idea that you uh, start to have love making with protection, and then at some point, you, the oh, guy, yeah. oh, typically the guy, okay. the guy will ditch it. Yeah, that's, we've been talking about this. Ooh. Um, so this guy, this is in the Netherlands. He was found guilty in court of uh, doing this to a woman that he had sex with last summer. He was sentenced to three months probation, and he had to pay a, a fine. Jeez. Um, there was a, uh, a whole thing at, I guess, Yale University back in 2017 where there were, like, all these reported instances of this um, by both women and gay men reporting that was happening. Then California became the first state to prohibit it in 2021, though technically not considered... A criminal offense, according yeah. to the article. So it's a it's a question of it's more of like a yeah. moral thing, I guess, right? But it is the, well, it, technically, let's say I don't know why for you, most places why you'd be doing it. But let's whatever your reason is, you may be like it's illegal to have not tell someone you have let's say HIV in most places. Yeah, I don't know why you'd want to expose somebody to that. That'd be a very psychotic thing to do, right? It'd be super hard to prove because mm-hmm. you always said, yeah, we were having sex, but then they, the guy could just say, oh, it fell off. See, well, that's right. what happens, fellas. Those of you who are buying magnums that don't need them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slide right off. Jeez. And if you're mid-act, wh- isn't, aren't you already mid-act? And then if you take right. it off, is it going to get better? You're, well, already, that's, yeah. you're already uh-huh. mid-act. I mean, look, it is yeah. better without. For sure. Well, well yeah. yeah. Without, without a condom. Yeah. yeah. Ask Ravy. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Well, that very bus. strict. No yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Oh, that does remind <laughs> me. Um, so there's a guy that I know. He does mornings in Minneapolis. His name is Dave Ryan. He mm-hmm. works at the uh, Top 40 stage. He's been there forever. Mm-hmm. And he was saying that this uh, email came in, and they were talking about it on the air, and it got a lot of reaction. I was curious about this because, you know, it's been forever since I've been in the dating world. Uh, this person wrote it. I got the email here. It says, I'm 23 years old, just got out of a relationship with an ex. We've been together since high school, so we weren't using condoms for years. Now that I'm single again and enjoying my freedom, I meet guys who want to hook up but don't have condoms, and so my answer is no. But when I told my friends this, two of them said, no one uses condoms anymore. If you're on birth control, you're fine. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Smart smart friends. What? Seriously? I had no idea, and I'm not even sure I believe it. Can anyone, I mean, anyone can have an STD, but according to my friends, they don't get them, so you don't have a condom. Go for it. Oh, God. Is this real? I've been out of the dating world for too long to know. That's uh, from Camille, who wrote into. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, STDs are done. Yeah, they don't get them anymore. Yeah, they're not on the rise they're at all. They're all cured. Well, no, is it one of those things that people don't necessarily worry about it because, you know, like when Greg got his, he went to the doctor, got he got shot. the shot that was like a sledgehammer. But it's certainly not because I didn't care. Right. It wasn't like, oh, people don't use condoms anymore. And yeah. they, if you get one, you just get a shot. Who well, cares? Because there's it, not like that. That wasn't the reasoning. Because, like, when I was, you know, a kid and then getting into, you know, being a teenager and mm-hmm. starting to have sex and everything, I mean, it, there there was no threat. Of, there was a threat of death. Yeah. You know, like, if you got, sure. if you got ended up with AIDS, like, mm-hmm. it was like, oh, man, you're going to yeah, die. You're done. And so that freaked a lot of people out. I think when you have some of these other ones, people are like, ah. I yeah. can deal. I could deal right. with it if I get if. Right. Because a lot of people feel invincible. Well, it's like migraines. Some people get them. Some people don't. You know? Well, <laughs> yeah. uh, but, you, but herpes doesn't go away. No. Right. You don't want to get that one. The herp. Yeah. yeah. No. I'm just saying, like you know. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of them can go away now, but there's still some that aren't. Yeah. Yeah. Still at risk. But you got to manage I would, it. Look, I, I would not be arguing for the no condom thing. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. Not Especially if you're just casually doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If someone wants one, of course you use it. What, so you're saying that you don't? We've talked about this right. many literally times. for years. <laughs> yeah. No, I I know, but like I know you say that you could tell just by looking at somebody if they're dirty or right, not. Right, right, exactly. Like, just in case, like what? you trust yourself that much that you're not. No, using... I have them on hand, of course, if they're requested. If they're requested, I'm saying for you personally. Right. If they if for your to... own. Safety. No, no, no. You're not insisting on it. Correct. I can tell if someone's dirty. I get oh. it. How about right. <laughs> Are you new? Mm-hmm. Just right. confirming for the people who are new. Well, no, it's yeah. like I, I don't what? plan on getting into an accident, but I still have insurance. Right. And again, I have it. Yeah, so I would, mm-hmm. I would, you know, I wouldn't be driving around with no insurance. Yeah. I don't plan on getting on an accident, but just in case. Right. I got to drive gonna, around with them. I know you drive around with, well, yeah. it's not active. But he, you know, <laughs> <It's not laughs> active he's insurance. got that radar yeah. where he can tell. Exactly. All right. This person has an yeah. STD. Now, what is your preferred <laughs> condom? The tuxedo? Oh, no. Nah, yeah. I mean, he gets hotter by the moment, right, ladies? Yeah. Dollar I mean, store. <laughs> dollar store. He gets more, he gets more attractive condoms. by the moment, yeah. <laughs>
But I think the mentality probably is if I get the STD, simple shot. Shot will take yeah. care of it. I think that is you can fix it. I know. probably the mentality. Because I think back, it's fixable. Like you said, when we were younger, it was like yeah. burnt in your brain that you were going to yeah. die. Yeah, right. Right. Don't use a condom. No cure. I mean, I don't think these days it's right. like that. Sammy's talking about herpes. Yeah, that one yeah. doesn't go away. I would hate to get that. That's only if you have a flare up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. what about the times you don't have a flare up? I mean, whatever. High five, bro. It's fine, yeah. but when you're yeah. herpes you flaring, would, you would still have to disclose to somebody, though, right? Because it's know. uncomfortable. I mean, uh, you'd just think... be able to tell by looking at you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you Michael Vick is leading a productive life. <laughs> with his Ron Mexico. <laughs> Ron like, Mexico. Oh, damn it! I'm on a flare look, up. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Well, Greg, you, know, you get cold sores. You don't make out when you have a cold sore. Uh, absolutely not. Right. right. Yeah, it's a flare-up. Uh, 877-44, what he text over to us. Uh, I mean, for those of you who are in the dating world, are, are condoms still like um, a, a regular thing, or is it like something that people aren't necessarily worrying about anymore? Which is I would crazy. say they're still a thing. Yeah. <laughs> in my world, they're still I, a thing. I would hope so. Yeah, my nephew had one fall out of his wallet while we were at no. dinner. Nice. No. Hell yeah, <laughs> it was, like, bro. like really worn. And, uh, nice. And Old, I was like, all crinkly. Good yeah. for you. <laughs> at least you're carrying Dude. one. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Just Heck a reminder, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> right in front of your aunt. That's Right cool. in front of your aunt. <laughs> That's he, all right. He turned a little couple shades of crimson, ah, but it's like. That's I right. said good for you. But to go back to the original point of this email, you can't trust, number one, that the birth control Hell is going to no. work. Yeah. Number two, that she's doing it right. Yeah. You but know. then also, more importantly, STD. Right. Uh, I think uh, baby's more important yeah. than STD. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm saying, like, let's say somebody is on, let's say they are doing it right. Mm. They're on birth control, and they are doing it right. Even then, it's not 100%. Okay. Sure. But on top of that, mm-hmm. the bigger the bigger problem at that point is that you can't, you're not guarding against any kind of STD. Right. Right. Nothing. You're not guarding against anything. Yeah. Bunch of dirty ass people out there, man. I tell you <laughs> what, are. people are so gross. Right. And you can tell by looking at them. It's like sexual potluck. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Yuck. But you never leave birth control up to the other person. You take in charge. Yeah. You take charge. Yep.